this? You made it to the finish line. What an accomplishment. How do you feel? You look great. You know, it shows an uh, amazing day. I mean, uh, when I tackled those hills, it was tough. But I, uh, I knew that um, I could make it. And um, every mile that I ran was summer. And um, well, my niece was uh, my mom. And uh, I knew that uh, she would come and I can uh, have done this with fire. And also, uh, I got a pretty gorgeous lady who turns out she's an eye woman. Uh-huh. And, and uh, I knew that when I was coming in, I knew that I would see the first night. And it's just an opportunity for me to uh, give that matter. Just amazing. I can tell your support staff here is beaming. Amanda, you ran the race along with Chris today and Trish. Mother, beaming with pride. Are the shades on because there's some tears under there? Yeah. You must be so proud. You know, it's, um, I can't say it's a dream come true because it never was a dream. Because all of this just unfolded. You know, it was just like, he was, he was, Three years old, still using a walker to walk. So I can't even, I can't even tell you how overwhelmed I am at what he's done in the last few years through Special Olympics number one, and then Ironman, and then to be invited here to Boston on the anniversary. It's just so emotional that, you know, Chris, Chris loves his friends. He loves his training partners and his guides and. We're grateful to Amanda to take all the time to help him to do a distance run like this. Yeah, so I feel extremely grateful and God has blessed us and I just, you know, Chris tells me all the time that it's not about him and he knows that. It's it's just showing others that we all matter and that, you know, in the Special Olympics community, that's our safe place because we're with people who understand difference. And also here, it was so beautiful to see how the Paralympics get off first, and then the pros, and then to see Chris and Amanda. And it's really beautiful. To me, Chris, Amanda, and Trish, I mean, this is what the marathon is all about. I mean, we see these elite runners, and it's their job, but it's these stories and these individuals doing spectacular things. Uh, and Chris, you know, at the ESPYs, you win the Jimmy V Award for perseverance. You're the first person with Down syndrome to finish an Ironman triathlon. I mean, that is unbelievable. So few people do that in their lives. I mean, what is the number one achievement for you? What's next for you? Um, marathons. And um, after I complete all the marathons, I'll be doing um, one more Ironman. And, um, and Kona, right? And then... I'll be focusing on golf, golf. and um, right. and then I just got word that I'm going to states for golf. Beautiful, he wants love to it. Go to national golf, Special Olympics Florida 2022, which his best friend did two years ago. That's a dream of his. We play every Tuesday night, and um, Chris, you know, he's 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 more than an Ironman. He's more than a runner in the runners world. He's a great student, and um, you know he's just—he has a blessed life. Just beautiful, Amanda. I mean, obviously a lot of love between you two here. Uh, both spending a lot of time out there on the course today together. What's the most memorable part of today for you? I think all the crowd support. It was just amazing. They kept yelling, "Go, Chris!" So Boston's an amazing city, such an amazing race. So thanks for having us, and I'm so proud of Chris for for doing an awesome job and finishing strong. Next thing is having a beer in Boston. <laughs> we got more than a few pints here in Boston. I think you'll be in pretty good shape. <laughs> and um, my next few, wo- my next few words <coughs> is that um, I got the mayor, and um, I knew that um, I have lots of Boston women tonight at the nightclub, and um, and then wait, wait for the crowds to me, and. Um, and then, Tomorrow's um, another day. and then I got a sign that says I got a cute butt. Oh, stop. <laughs> there was a sign. So, yeah, <laughs> so um, one day, uh, my dad called me running, and okay. I hate running. And when I, uh, and then when, um, and then when um, 
I ran today. I knew that was going to cute. And tomorrow we'll start the day with church. <laughs> Sound like Sounds a plan. good. Lots to be thankful for. Mom, ever the producer as well. I think our producers love that too. And uh, it's great. Congrats on such a great achievement. Way Thank to you. be a role model and set a great example. Chris Nickich, uh, fantastic job out there today. Steve and Paula, send it back to you. Eric, thank you. He's he's limitless, that young man. Don't bet against him. That's all you know, I got to say. Do not bet job. against Chris.